If you've been multi-streaming and finding yourself frustrated with looking at multiple chat windows, I might have a solution for you. ChaosBot has recently been updated to include a new chat feature which allows you to combine Twitch and YouTube chats and display them in one feed. There's also a whole lot of other features you can play around with like AI TTS and having ChatGPT respond to chat, but I'll leave a link to that video down in the description and in a pinned comment. To use the chat functionality, all you need to do is connect to Twitch by clicking on Twitch OAuth and giving it access, and then putting your channel name, all lowercase, into the text box and hitting connect. You'll then connect your YouTube live stream by inputting the live stream ID found here in YouTube Studio or here on the actual live stream. Twitch only needs to be connected once and then it will automatically connect on startup, but YouTube needs to be connected every time you wanna use it. Once you have those two set up, you can go to the chat tab and try testing it out by typing a message into either of your two chats. And if it appears, you did everything correctly. Now you can start to change the position of almost every aspect of the chat box. You can move usernames, change font sizes, and even adjust the badge and user profile picture locations. And on the color tab, you can change what appears based on if the chatter is a member on YouTube or a subscriber on Twitch. Next up is the badge tab. This can either use a web address for a PNG or JPEG or a local file on your computer by clicking select file. By default, YouTube chatters use their YouTube profile picture and Twitch chatters use the Twitch logo. If you put in a user or member badge, it will override it for both services, but member badges will still only appear for members or subscribers. Finally, we get to the emote slots. By default, no emotes are shown. However, you can add any emote replacement you want by typing in the exact phrase you want to be replaced and then copying the URL for that image or GIF. For YouTube emotes, you can find them here on the customized default perks page. However, when adding them to the app, make sure you include the colons in your unique family name. Make sure you click on save after you make any changes you want, and then you can send a few test messages to make sure everything is looking great. Finally, we get to add it to OBS by making a browser source and making the URL location the location of chat HTML on your PC. By default, this is in the same folder that Chaos is in. And voila, everything is set up. There are a few things of note, the first of which is if you close the app and then reopen it, you will have to make sure you refresh the browser source in OBS or else it will not update. And this also doesn't show any things like bits, subs, or membership alerts. If that's something you would like me to add in the future, please let me know. And if you want to know about the rest of the fun features that ChaosBot has to offer, watch this video here.